morning. It is Monday morning, the start of a new week, and I'm getting ready to show you uh, what I had listed over the weekend. Not a whole lot, just four things this weekend. Uh, we have the Rock Sample Box, which I listed for $18, and these are all free shipping. And this lovely Latticino Murano glass paperweight. I listed that for $59. The uh, turquoise pendant, I added a chain to it. The chain is not silver because I'm out of silver chains and I got them on order but they haven't arrived yet. But you know, that's okay. Um, that I listed for $38. And then uh, this is the um, poison ring that I bought with no stone in it and I got it for three dollars. It is sterling silver with I think it has like little gold um, probably a little gold plated uh, embellishment there on the side. I think this came from Bali and I added the stone which is a Swarovski crystal and uh, that I am selling for 26 and here is what I sold over the weekend. It's a pretty good weekend. Uh, this is a signed uh, Native American pot. The artist is Sherl. And uh, that sold for $37. And these prices are all free shipping except for one. Um, sold this cool, kind of like a big file box with inlaid wood. EF. It's kind of a neat box. Um, and that sold for oh, 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 $63. Um, sold a, these two brooches to one person. This is a Weiss signed black Japaned brooch, probably from I think early 1960s. And that sold for $36. And uh, this is an Edwardian, kind of an Art Nouveau looking, really beautiful. I love this one. Uh, and this one sold for 34 And then uh, this, I just listed this recently. This came from the my mother-in-law's rummage sale. And uh, it's a mid-century modern pendant necklace, a really big thing. And that sold for $34. Um, this little hourglass with a cloisonne handle. I mean hourglass, not hourglass, magnifying glass, sorry. Um, that sold for $21 plus shipping. That's the only one that was plus shipping. I, sold, I just listed this too, this little pewter salt cellar in the shape of a Viking ship. And that sold for $25. Cute little rabbit Limoges porcelain box, all hand painted. He's a really cute one. Um, that sold for $50. And then lastly is, uh, this is a blouse, which is already wrapped up, so I will slip in a picture, but it's a an off-white silk blouse with hand embroidered lace on it. Um, really nice work. That came from my sister-in-law. She really knows how to pick them. Because I, I have, I just listed that pretty recently, so sold, sold quickly. Yay! Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and I would show you what I got listed yesterday, but I didn't get anything listed yesterday. I was, oh, taking photos and cleaning things and doing research, and somehow I never listed anything, which I think is not a good thing. My, my philosophy is that regular listing every day really helps with the sales. Keeps, it keeps something at the top of the search and you know people find you by searching for something else and then they see your store and then maybe they look around so I don't know that's just my philosophy and so I'll have to make up for it today but anyway here is what I sold yesterday oops it was a uh, another pretty good day <laughs> I sold this cute little I believe it's a pen and ink drawing. I think it's an original pen and ink drawing of these two little, I think they're Dutch children. They have the little wooden shoes. And um, that sold for $18 plus shipping. 
and uh, this is a silver plated bracelet that's engraved. It's really nicely done. Um, and uh, that sold for $24 plus shipping. And then the rest of these are free shipping. This little Art Deco silver plated brooch. I think in the haul video I was hopeful that it might be sterling, but it's not. It's silver plated with little pink stones in it. And that sold for $24. This is another recently listed item. Come on. Come on. Oh, I hate it when my camera won't soak, but there we go. Okay. Um, that sold for 38 And then these two items sold to the same person. It's a silver-plated trinket box with roses. It's an Art Nouveau style, but probably from the 1960s, and it's made in Japan. But it's nice. The plating is in really good condition. Um, and that sold for 36 And then the faux ormolu brass lipstick holder. That also from the 1960s. Very Hollywood Regency style with the cherubs and all the gold stuff on it. Um, and that sold for 39 Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. A nice coolish overcast day. I think it's supposed to be pretty nice today, like a high of only 80 since it's been pretty hot lately. So that's really nice. Looking forward to it. And I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I sold and I'm getting ready to ship. So quickly, so you don't see too much of my messy office. Oops. Uh, I listed this solid brass architectural salvage lion door knocker. This thing weighs a ton. It's like almost two pounds of brass right there. Uh, it's got a, a nice patina on it, but it will shine up because I, I did a test on the back right there with some metal cleaner and it shines up really well. So if somebody wants to shine this up and make it look like new, they can, or if they like the patina, they can keep that. And I listed that for $125, free shipping. Everything's free shipping. Um, uh -oh. Dear me, it seems to be stuck. There we go. Um, I listed this mid-century Hong Kong purse with all the seed beads on it, which I thought had just a great kind of a pop art look to it. Not pop, um, what am I, you know, kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what, how to describe it, but anyway, very 1960s. And I listed that for $64, and it sold right away. I did see another one listed for like 90 I thought that seemed like an awful lot. Uh, I paid $10 for that at the flea market, and I paid 15 for him at the flea market. Um, this is Mexican silver flower pendant. It is signed, um, yeah, right there, uh, right there, uh, A.S. The, uh, the signature is a known one, but the identity of the artist is not known. Uh, probably 1940s, and I uh, listed that for 26, and then these little sterling filigree dangle earrings. They're very pretty. Very nicely done. Uh, and those I listed for $24. Uh, and as mentioned, I sold this purse for $64. And then I sold this uh, little scarab bracelet, which is made with natural stones and I think gold filled maybe. Uh, it's a really nice one. I sold that for $26. And then this, I sold this on eBay. I've had these for a really long time. I bought a whole big lot of them at the flea market. I thought, I, I, I didn't pay very much for, the, for them at all. It was a, a lot of a whole bunch of these kind of military-esque pins. This one is from um, USSR. It's a Navy proficiency badge. 
I had a whole bunch of them. They've been slow sellers, but I've been selling them off for $12 a piece on eBay. Plus shipping. So that's what that is. And that's it for today. Hey there, tubers. It is Thursday morning, and it's a beautiful day. It's going to be hot, but it's beautiful right now. And I am going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I sold and I'm going to ship this morning. So, first off, what I listed, I listed this cute little granite ware coffee pot. Um, I think it's a pretty old one. It does have a chip on the, a couple of chips on the um, lid here, but the, most of it looks pretty clean and nice, and it is watertight. You could even make coffee in it. And I listed that for 36 and all of these are free shipping free domestic shipping. And this cute little ice cream scoop. I just love this. It's so cute. It has this little turny bit and nice red paint on it. And that I listed for oh, 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 32. And then you may remember these from the $5 sterling silver table. A little uh, bear claw pendant. I was able to figure out who the artist is for a change. Sensei Eustace is the name of the artist, signed S-E. He's a Zuni artist. He does a lot of these bear claw shadow boxes. Uh, I listed that one for 26. And then this puffy modernist leaf pendant in sterling silver. I listed this for 27. And moving on to what I'm shipping this morning. This is just an absolutely gorgeous petty point little purse. It's uh, just just a shade nicer than a lot of them are. I think it's an older one too. It has some little enamel flowers along the edge here and a little kind of a fancy knob on the clasp. And that sold for 64 plus shipping. Uh, because it's uh, going overseas, but um, but the shipping is reduced a little bit. Same with these frames, which are actually all of these are going to the same person. And uh, this is just a little pewter frame, and that was 18. And then this little gold frame, which I just listed recently. All these frames I just listed recently, and um, that gold one sold for 22 and then the last thing is I sold the poison ring and that sold for 26 free shipping to a different person good morning it is Friday morning and I'm drooling um, I'm just going to show you what I listed and what I sold as per usual so we'll start out with what I listed. This is just one of my favorite things I've gotten in a while. It's a pocket watch holder. Goes like that and like that. Very uh, Victorian. Uh, I think that this is Black Forest, but I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't have the deep, deep carving but the style does look consistent with some other ones I saw. Anyway, I listed that uh, for 95 um, This beaded necklace is handmade, I'm thinking probably 1970s. It's got a really old style fish hook clasp, but it does have nylon string, so it can't be all that old. So I think maybe 1970s, earth tones were big then. I don't know, that's just a guess, but they're very pretty handmade beads hand-painted. Um, that came from my sister-in-law. I listed that for 24 I think. Uh, and this, uh, when I showed this in the haul video, I said it was unmarked, but it is in fact BSK, which ups its value a little bit. I did a lot of work with the gold leafing pen to kind of touch it up, and it looks much better. 
much, much better than it did. It, it looks really pretty good now. And I listed that for, oh, let's say 35. And those are all free shipping. And there should be a fourth thing. Hmm, where'd it go? Uh, this is the fourth thing I listed. It's this uh, Mexican pottery dish probably from the 1930s. The way that you can tell that this is an older piece, let's see if I can get it in better light. Um, the consistency of the clay can tell you something about the age. Uh, the newer ones, they, they are mechanically mixed clay and it's smooth and homogenous. Whereas, see all the little imperfections and inclusions in this clay? That means it was mixed by hand. So, I estimated the age of this piece to be 1930s. And it does have a lot of uh, wear to it, but it doesn't have any serious cracks or chips. And it's got a very charming little picture of a man carrying, I believe he's carrying bread on his back. And I don't know what that thing is right there. <laughs> Frankly, it looks a bit like a trash bin, but I don't think that's what it is. Um, maybe a basket? Maybe a basket. I don't know. Anyway, there you have it. Um, I listed that for, uh, I think, uh, 30, oh, let's just say 38. And here's what I am, oh, bad reflections. Here's what I'm sending off this morning. Uh, this is an antique beaded purse from the uh, probably early 1800s. It's uh, really, really old. And uh, this came from my mother-in-law. I've had it for a long time. And it's got the provenance on the back of who owned it, which family members all the way back. Just kind of cool. That sold for $55. It's not in great shape. Um, uh, there goes my, my daily motorcycle that comes through when I'm filming. Uh, okay, I sold this um, cowbell, nice primitive cowbell, and that was 28. And that's uh, this is free shipping, free shipping. This was 34, also free shipping. These two go to the same person. And uh, then I sold. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what this was. This is a, a Mexican silver malachite ring. It's done in kind of a Navajo style. It, really looks like a Navajo piece, but it is Mexican. Um, this is a really pretty necklace, gold tone necklace. That sold for 22 And the last item is, oh, I should have taken that out of the bag. It's, um, okay, now you can see it. It's a really pretty gold tone rhinestone and faux pearl pendant. It's a lavalier style and I guess it's mid-century. Just, I think that was so pretty and I have had this forever. I mean for the longest time. I don't have any idea where I got it or when. I do have that written down somewhere but I don't know off the top of my head. Um, and that sold for 16 and this one was plus shipping. Everything else was free shipping. That's my story for today. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I just got back from morning going out to breakfast, grocery shopping, and a few garage sales, which I will show you the loot later. There's just a couple things. Um, but I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday. Okay, so uh, first up is this Chinese cloisonne mirror. It is an antique. As you can see, it has some damage to the silvering on the mirror, but it's still usable. And um, as I was examining it closer, I did find it does have a little chip in the enamel right there. But otherwise, the enamel is in really good shape, and it's just so pretty. I listed that for 95 and uh, this is uh, something I've had lying around for a while. I believe it came from my sister-in-law. It's a dichroic glass artisan made pendant necklace and a kind of a, I guess that's kind of a freeform 
style, I kept trying to make it into something, a flower or a butterfly or a bird, but it just doesn't really work. So I think it's just a, a random shape. But it's really pretty, blue and black. And I listed that for uh, 19. And this is the same thing. It's I've had it around for a while. It's a um, woman pin by Lucinda. She's a little better known for her house pins, but each one is unique. And um, they are the house pins supported Habitat for Humanity, the sales of them. And the woman pins, uh, I think it's breast cancer research, don't quote me on that. Um, but anyway, they are collectible. They don't sell for a whole lot. I listed this one for 18 and all these prices are free shipping. And then I listed uh, Cowbell, uh, since I just sold one just like this and I had some more, I went ahead and listed another one. And uh, that's a pretty neat old one. And let's see, wait, I can tell you, 34 $34 free shipping. And these are a few things that I am shipping out this morning. We have this incredibly beautiful cross-stitch laptop bag. So it's like both practical and beautiful. And that was $38. And all of these are free shipping. All, and almost all of them are free shipping. <laughs> um, I sold this faux damascene artist palette brooch from Spain. A little enamel on metal. And that was um, 18. It's a little uh, kind of a tribal looking pendant necklace. It looks like it's very good quality and I think it might be a museum store type piece. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but that sold for 18. This didn't last long. A sterling silver cuff bracelet with the grapes on it. Um, and that sold for, the price was 65 However, the buyer used a 10% off coupon code, so she got it for, what, I don't know exactly, close to $60. And, just in case you don't know, you too can use the same coupon code she did. The coupon code, code is just for my YouTube watchers, and it is YouTube Thanks, and that's all one word. And just use that when you check out in my Vintage Dazzle store, and you will get 10% off. And I sold this little doll head. <laughs> I feel really guilty because I called it a creepy doll head in, in the listing. But the person who bought it said she felt inspired to turn this doll head back into an entire doll. So I was kind of moved by that actually and she asked for a better price and I gave it to her <laughs> so she got the doll head for 15 bucks plus shipping and then I sold two of these Arno French street scene prints from the mid-century era um, I had three listings of two prints each and of course somebody wanted to buy one from one listing and one from the other listing but you know that's okay. I let her do it. So I just have to revamp one of the listings. And um, so that was $55 for the two. Free shipping. 